So here's a little video about something that happened to me yesterday and it has to do with a doorknob. So we didn't bother when we went out to the hot tub, which is covered up right now, but there's the hot tub, to check this, okay? But when you go like this, it feels unlocked. When you go feel this side, guess what? It's locked. So we weren't even paying attention to that. We had just gone to the pool, having a good old time, and like, oh, let's come back and get in the hot tub. And then we were done. And then the kid goes over here. And it's like, I can't open the door. And then I'm over here, and I'm like panicking. I'm like, are you serious? So all these thoughts are going through my head. Like, oh, shit. I'm going to have to break a window. Like, I'm going to have to break that window. And then I was like, no, you can't break a window at this place. That's not a good idea. And so then I was looking around at, are there any windows that are open? And I apologize in advance if, like, when I'm breathing, I sound like Darth Vader. <sighs> like that. Because sometimes I just do. So anyway, so I'm going around. And I think that we had figured out that window was closed. And then, like, I'm walking on this grass. And, like, there's, like, holes. Like, you can't even tell that there are holes. Like, there's just, like, these divots. I don't know if it's from gophers or what the hell but so I'm walking my shoes were wet and I'm like great I'm gonna break my neck y'all know I'll be breaking my neck on vacation so I come over here let me pause this for a second so that I can walk a little bit I walk around to the side of the house I came from over there I walk up here of course that door's closed locked up locked up everything tight before we went to the pool so then what I did was I got a chair and I brought it down here where the chair still is and I thought we have a problem. My child is not even five feet tall. So there's no way that my child's gonna get on this chair <laughs> and be able to get into that window, which was open. I'm like, we're fucked. We're just straight fucked. So I went back that way. We'll pause it again. So then I was like back at the hot tub and I go, okay, well, let me walk around this side because this place has lots of doors. So let's go look over here go around the corner. This is also like giving you a tour, a tour of the exterior of this place. And, well, about to break my neck again, y'all. Shoot. <clears throat> so I come over here and I'm like, let me see. Maybe I'll let this one open that goes into my room. Y'all, it was locked up tight. Locked up tight. Closed and locked. So then, I was like, let me come to the front. Because there's more sliding doors here. Let's go look. Here's the front of the place. <clears throat> so I come in here. And I'm like, what about this door? What about this sliding glass? Nope. Locked. What about that one? Nope. Locked. What about that one? Nope. Locked. And I said, well, let me just see if for some reason I left this door unlocked. Never leave this door unlocked. We never do. It's like I come inside, I automatically lock it. It was literally like this. It was like this. I was like, oh my God. And I walked in. And I was like, my baby's still sleeping. And I was like, praise. Praise me. Praise me. We can get inside. We don't have to call anybody. We don't have to call a locksmith. We can get in. And that's that's it. That's the story. What was the point of that story? As usual, guys, there's no point. I just wanted to tell you that uh, that, that happened to me last night. And that I'm thankful to whatever it is in the universe that made me not close that door. Because I don't deserve that kind of luck. But I have that kind of luck. So if you have that kind of luck today, just be very thankful for it. Because I am. Because that went from straight up nervous breakdown to an unbelievable sense of thankfulness. That was a roller coaster. It was a roller coaster ride. And uh, I hope you enjoyed going on it with me. So that's it. Okay, bye.